Ozzy, 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 Ozzy is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Ozzy here. Today we're going to talk about something that's super exciting. Something that every time I see one I go, whoa, and I often go, poo wee. That's right, let's talk about garbage trucks. Let's start with the basics, and then we can go and visit a real life garbage truck. And after that, we're going to sit back and enjoy a book together about garbage trucks. So come on, let's get stuck in. Now I remember when I was a little boy that a garbage truck was one of the first big trucks that I saw come straight past my house. I remember running to the front window and I'd sit there and watch them pick up the bin and dump the rubbish or the recycling into the truck and make all the loud noises. It was super fun. Do you like doing that too? Did you know that there are different types of garbage trucks? That's right, there are three. This one here, that's called a front loader. And it drives up, puts its two big prongs under the bin from the front, picks it up, and dumps the rubbish over the top. This one here, that's a rear loader. And that picks up the bin from the back, picks it up, dumps it into the back of the truck. And that one there, that's a side loader. And that's one of the main types of trucks that you would see picking up the bins around the streets in your neighborhood. But how does a side loader pick up the bins? Well, good thing I brought my garbage truck to show you. This is a side loader. And this here, that's called a grabber arm. And that's what attaches to the bin, picks it up, takes it all the way to the top, flips it over, and dumps the rubbish or the recycling down into the hopper. And then it goes through the hopper into the big part of the truck, which is called the compression body. And that's where it gets squashed up nice and tight. And then when you go back to the station, they lift up the back and the blade pushes the rubbish or the recycling out the back it comes out nice and squashed, nice and compressed. And what else do we have? Here we have some reflective tape and some flashing lights. And that's for safety, so that people know that the big truck is coming down the street. Up the front here, that's called the cab. And that's where the driver sits to drive the truck and control the grabber arm. Pretty cool truck. Now did you know that there are different types of bins as well? That's right, each country has their own types of bins, but here in Australia, in New South Wales, there are three different types of bins. This one here, it's a red bin, and that's for garbage or rubbish. The yellow bin, that's for recycling. And the green bin, that's for garden waste. So let's learn what can go in each different type of bin. The first one is garbage or rubbish and that's things that can only be used once, like packaging foam, trays from food, rope, and even your baby brother or sister's stinky nappy. Poo -wee. The next bin is recycling, and that's for stuff that can be melted down or crushed and made into something that uses the same material. Things like glass and plastic and cans and paper and cardboard. But do you know what the recycling symbol looks like? Let's have a look at our truck. That's the recycling symbol there. And anywhere you see that, that means you can take that, put it into the yellow bin, and it gets crushed down or melted and used again to make another product. How cool is that? And the third bin is garden waste, and that's for lawn clippings, leaves, and tree branches. So we've learnt lots today, all different types of trucks, what the different parts are, and the different bins. But wouldn't it be good if we could go and visit a real life-size garbage truck? Come on, who wants to come with Aussie for a visit? Let's go. Aussie, 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 boy. Aussie is a friend of yours, and he's a friend of mine. Hey kids, Ozzy here. I hope you've been having lots of fun today, because I certainly have. Guess where I've been? 
I'm here at Capital City Waste Services and the guys have let me come down to check out a real life garbage truck. But do you see anything different about this garbage truck? That's right, it's a little bit smaller. It's a compact truck. It's called a junior truck and it's designed that way so that it go, can go under big tall buildings but into the car parks so it can get to the places that the big mummy and daddy trucks over the back there can't get to. But it can do everything the same that the big trucks can do, just on a smaller scale. So the guys have been super good to us. They've let us come down and Aussie's even been allowed to have a drive and they've even let us bring you along so that we can go and check things out together. So come on, let's go and see the different things that the garbage truck can do. Let's go. All right, let's go and have a look around the truck before we get into any detail. So we've got some controls here. They make things move and lift things up. Ooh. I think that's hand sanitizer. Make sure your hands are clean after you've touched the rubbish in the bins. Over here, we've got the lever and some buttons. They control this tailgate and the rubbish goes in here. I think it's all squashed up in there and it goes inside. Come around here. Got some more buttons and controls here. So many buttons on this truck. So up here, we've got lots of flashing lights all around the truck. We've got the petrol tank or the fuel tank. Oh, and this guy here, I've been told don't open this if there's rubbish inside because that's where the rubbish lives. And if you open it when it's full, you're gonna get rubbish all over yourself. That's not fun. All right, we've got some gloves to protect our hands. We've got a shovel and a broom so that we can push any excess rubbish out. And then this guy, it's a fire extinguisher. So safety first, if anything goes wrong when you're out there with the truck, you gotta make sure you can put it out with the fire extinguisher. And we're back to the cab. Why don't we jump inside and see all the different controls and see what happens inside there. Let's go. So this is the front of the garbage truck. This is what's called a cab. Looks like a pretty standard truck, doesn't it? But the difference is, down here, we've got all these fun controls that help us control everything at the back of the truck. But nothing's gonna work until we start the engine, so let's fire it up. All right, these buttons down here are our two important ones. That puts power to everything, and that helps turn everything on too. Now, two buttons which control the safety features of the truck are these two. That's gonna turn on our flashing lights to make sure that people know where we are and keep us safe. And these three buttons, they control things like the blade inside the truck, which pushes the rubbish backwards and forwards. And this guy picks up the tailgate and puts it back down again. And this last button helps us pick up the bins to dump the rubbish inside the back of the truck. Why don't we go back there and check it all out and see how it works. Come on, let's go get some bins. All right, we're seen inside the cab, and let's go down the back for the fun part. So we've got our flashing lights going. Let's go and pick up some bins. Now here we have these two guys, 240 liters each. This might be a small truck, but it can pick up a lot of stuff. Let's go around this side. We'll show you how it works. So we've lined the bins up, which is really important to make sure that this lifter or the grabber arm can pick the bins up and dump the rubbish into the hopper. Over here, we've got the lever. When we press that, up go the bins. Out goes the rubbish. Let me bring him back down. And then check this guy out. So this big strong arm is gonna come down, pick it up, and scoop it up. And take it up and dump it inside the body of this little junior truck. And it sits inside there in the compression body. So that's two of those little bins. But this little beast can also pick up a big bin. I'll show you. Look, green and gold, just like Aussie. So, same thing, it's gonna line it up, 
with that arm. So the grabber arm can come up, and pick the bin up by its handles. Up goes the bin. Out goes the rubbish. And look, it's empty now. And then this big strong arm comes down and it's gonna scoop it up for us. And just like that, we say, see you rubbish. So it's gone up inside the compression body. Now, why don't we come down here and see what else this baby can do? Come on. So we've picked up some bins from the back there because this little guy is a rear loader. And the rubbish has gone inside the truck into the compression unit. Now when we've finished picking up rubbish for the day, we're gonna go back to the tip and we're gonna use this guy to clear the truck of rubbish. So let's have a look at these controls. So this one here, it's gonna lift up the back of the truck for us. Look at that tailgate going up, up, up into the air. So once that tailgate's up nice and high, we're gonna push the blade back inside and that's gonna push the rubbish out the back. Check that out. All right, looks all clear down this end. All right, so once that blade's pushed all the rubbish out and the truck's nice and empty, we're gonna bring that tail back down. So there's one more button here, and that's this big, bright red one. And that's in case something's going wrong. If for some reason something's getting stuck inside, you quickly hit that stop button, and that's gonna stop anything from moving, going up and down or back and forward. So that's it. That's our junior truck. We've picked up the bins. We've brought the rubbish back to the tip. We've emptied the truck. Now this guy's ready to pick up some more rubbish. Come on, let's go. There you go kids, another super exciting visit. I hope you've had as much fun as I have. This has been super exciting, getting to drive the little junior truck and operate the controls that pick up the bins and empty the truck at the end of the day. Two more really important things to keep you safe. It's okay to be fascinated with trucks. I certainly am. But make sure you never get too close to the garbage truck. They're big, they're heavy, and they can do some damage if you get too close. And number two, although it might look like a bit of fun, Never chase a garbage truck down the street because that is very dangerous, especially if the garbage truck driver doesn't know you're there. Okay, hope you've had lots of fun. We'll see you again soon in the next video with Aussie. Until then, stay keen. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Ozzy here. I'm so excited about what we're chatting about today. Today, we're gonna to learn about fire trucks and firefighters. We're gonna start with the basics, and then we're gonna go and visit a real fire station. And then after that, we're gonna enjoy a book together about firefighters. So come on, let's get stuck in. Did you know that when I was a little boy, I used to wanna be a firefighter when I grew up? And I still get excited when I see the fire trucks zooming down the street with their lights flashing, and their sirens going, so cool. Here, look, I brought my own fire truck today. Well, it's not a real life-size one, of course, but it's got a real hose and real water. Why would a fire truck need a real hose and real water? Well, to put out fires, of course, like car fires and house fires and bushfires. But did you know that fighting fires isn't all that firefighters do? That's right, they have lots of other important jobs too like helping people out when they've been stuck in car accidents, and they spend some of their time getting animals that have been stuck in trees. 
and other funny places. Do you know what colour this truck is? That's right, it's red. Good job, kids. And it's red so that it can stand out and it's easy to see when it's coming down the road. But what else makes a fire truck stand out? A siren and a horn and flashing lights. How cool. Let's have a look at some of the other parts of the fire truck. So over here, we have a locker. And in there, firefighters keep things like first aid kits, hose fittings, and fire extinguishers, and other sorts of things like that. Up here, that's called the cab. That's where the firefighters sit when they're driving in the fire engine on the way to an emergency. What else do we have? All that there, that's called the pump panel. And that's what you use to control the water that comes out of the hose. Pretty cool. And this up here, that's a ladder. And that can extend really tall so we can reach high places like the top of buildings. Now if you're in a fire at home, it's really important to get out the front as quick as you can. And then it's super important to make sure you stand next to the letterbox so that when the firefighters arrive, they know that you're safe. They don't need to go back inside to try and save you. Another really interesting fact is that when we go to sleep, all our senses go to sleep as well. That's right, our sight, our smell, our taste, our touch, but not our hearing. Pretty clever, hey? That's why it's really important to make sure that your smoke alarm or smoke detector is always working. So that if there's a fire while you're asleep and the smoke goes up to the smoke alarm, it's gonna set it off, start beeping, your ears are gonna hear it, you're gonna wake up, then you're gonna have a chance to get outside the house before you get yourself into any danger because of the fire. Pretty cool, hey? And what else? Firefighters need to make sure that they're safe when they're fighting fires, don't they? So they're gonna wear a really special uniform. Like that, that's a helmet. They're gonna wear it on their head to make sure that their head is safe. They're also gonna wear a jacket and pants to help protect them from the flames. They're gonna wear some really protective boots on their feet to make sure that they're safe. And also some gloves to protect their fingers and their hands. Wow, we've certainly learnt a lot today. I hope you guys have had lots of fun learning different things about firefighters and the equipment they use. But wouldn't it be fun if we could go down to the local fire station and visit a real fire truck? Maybe they might even let us spray the hose. Who knows? Let's go and find out. Come on. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Aussie, 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 boy. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Ozzy here. So can you guess where I am today? That's right, I've come down to the local fire station. How exciting is this gonna be? So we're gonna get a chance to go inside and check out a real fire truck. We're gonna see the firefighters' uniforms, maybe even meet a real firefighter, and if we're super lucky, they might let us turn on one of the hoses. How cool is this gonna be? So this station, this is called the RFS, and RFS stands for Rural Fire Service. Now, because in Australia we have so much bushland, in New South Wales, we have both the RFS and the Fire and Rescue. Now the RFS look after emergencies and fires in bushland and farm areas all around New South Wales. And the Fire and Rescue, they mainly look after the city areas. And another really cool fact is that the New South Wales RFS is the biggest volunteer fire service in the whole world. How awesome is that? Makes me pretty proud to be an Aussie. So come on, let's go inside and see what it's all about. Let's go. So before we can help out in an emergency or a fire, we're gonna put on a uniform to help keep us safe. I'm gonna start with a jacket, which has been lent to me by one of the firefighters here at the Rural Fire Service. You can see it's nice and bright yellow, has reflective strips so it's easy to see, and it's got lots and lots of pockets for all your tools and gloves and different things. Look at this, we've got ourselves a radio so that we can talk to other firefighters and send messages. We're going to need one of these, aren't we? Very important to wear a helmet to make sure our head's protected and our eyes. 
Now I don't have them, but usually you'd wear a pair of pants as well, and a big, heavy, protective pair of boots to keep your feet safe. And the final thing is a pair of gloves. Keep your fingers and your hands safe. So now that we're all dressed, let's go and jump in the front of the fire truck and see what's in there. Let's go. So now we're inside the fire truck. How cool is this? This is called the cab. Lots of room up here. There's enough room for six firefighters. Back there, you can fit four. Up in this seat, this is the officer in charge. So Aussie is the officer in charge today. And over in the driver's seat, we've got a real firefighter. Come and meet Roz. Hi, Roz. Hi, Aussie. Welcome aboard. Thanks for having me. Now, I don't know about you kids, but I'm pretty excited to hear the sirens and see the flashing lights. Roz, do you reckon we can fire the truck up and get those things going? We sure can. <laughs> I love hearing the sirens and seeing the big fire truck coming down the street. How much fun is it? Now, there's lots of other cool stuff up here too. We've got some computer screens and they tell us where to go, where the fires are. So we've also got lots of radios up here too. This one is for the group leader and he tells our truck and lots of other trucks where to go and what to do. And then this one over here has to talk to our own fire crew. So we've seen lots of cool stuff inside the cab. Thanks for letting us inside the truck, Roz. Why don't we go outside and see all the other fun stuff on the outside of the truck. Come on, let's go. So we've seen inside the cab. Let's have a walk around and check out the outside of the fire truck and see all the different parts and the different equipment and tools they have. So this is the front of the truck. We've got some lights. This bit here, that's where the horn and the siren comes out of. We've got some reflective strip. So it's easy to see the fire truck as it's coming down the street. This whole thing here, that's what we were just sitting inside. That's called the cab, remember? All right, this door here, that's for the driver. So the driver goes up there and sits up the front. This back door, that's for the crew. So they climb up these steps to get all the way up into the cab up there. What else do we have? Let's check out these. All these things are called lockers. Let's see what's inside. So we've got some hoses. We've got some nozzles and some fittings. Pretty cool. What else do we have? Check out this one. Oh, this one's got some safety gear, some first aid kit, and we've got some sun cream, which is very important in the Aussie summer. Some hand sanitizer, make sure your hands are clean, and some air guard, that's to keep those bugs away, which is also important in Aussie bush. And what's in this locker? Oh, these are important. Some fire extinguishers. We've got some petrol, some tools, chainsaws, and some rope. Let's go around the back. We've got some hoses here. Oh, and there's a hose here. There's two hoses. And look, this is where you can connect some other hoses. And that connects to this thing, and that's called the pump panel. And that controls the water out of the pump, which comes from the tank. And the tank at the back there, that holds three and a half thousand litres. That's a lot of water. Come on, let's check out this side. Look up here. We've got a ladder, but it's only a little one because the RFS, they don't usually need to go to big building fires, so they don't need a huge ladder. They just got a little mini one. Let's check out what's in this locker. These guys are important. So that's called breathing apparatus. And so they're tanks that the firefighters put on their back and they put the big mask on their face, which sometimes looks a bit scary, but it's just so that they can breathe when they go to car fires and building fires and they're not breathing all that smoke in. What's in this last locker? Lots more hoses, all different sizes and different types, different fittings and different nozzles. So now we've seen all the different parts of the truck, do you think I could go and ask Roz if she'll let Aussie turn on the real hose? Come on, let's go find out. 
So I've got my new firefighter friend, Roz, here, and Roz is going to control the pump panel, and Ozzy, Ozzy's going to control the hose. So you grab it like that, and you walk it out, and then you say to Roz, water on! And once the water's on, you just pull this lever like this, and out comes the water. And then you can control the way the water comes out. Wide and narrow, which shoots it further into the air. And then when you're done, you turn it off like that and you say, water off. And Roz, our helpful firefighter friend, she's gonna turn it off over there at the truck. And that is how the hose works. How much fun is that? So how much fun was that visit? Getting to come along and see a real fire truck and meet a real firefighter. How awesome is Roz? She even let us go inside the fire truck and check all the different parts on the outside of the fire truck. And she even let Ozzy play with the hose and make the spray go wide and long. It was super fun. And just before we finish up, check out this truck that I found. It's from 1924, a long, long time ago. But they used to actually drive this guy out to the fires. She's old but she's a beauty. So a massive thank you to the Menai RFS. Thank you so much for letting us come along today. Kids, I hope you've had as much fun as Aussie. We'll see you on our next video. Until then, stay keen. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine.